Good morning, Cancer. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Cancer, this is going to be your love reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. Not all messages will resonate, but take our resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Cancer, let's see what you guys got. So, let's uh, let's, let's shuffle the deck a few more times. Then we'll divide the deck and see what you guys got. Alright, so today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck, the Spirit of the Wheel Meditation deck, and these runes that I have right beside me. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's go like that. Alright, cool. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands, so that tells me that you're no longer waiting for your ships to come in, that you're finally moving forward, and you're not really, you know, waiting on anything during this time. Alright? So let's see what cards you guys got. So you have the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So, so far your reading is looking excellent. Alright, so you have the Injustice, so the Justice card, the Queen of Swords, so you could be dealing with an air sign, but you don't have to be. A uh, very strong air on this side. This one, this side of the chart, or <laughs> this side of the board is more earthy, loving energy, very satisfied, very happy energy. This one's more of a blunt, uh, standing in their power, uh, feel like they've been wronged uh, type of energy. So this could be someone looking in to your life and they are like, how is this person so happy? How is this person so abundant? You know, like they look at you as the king of pentacles, right? Even though they may see themselves as the queen of swords, but they feel like they've been wronged. Like they deserve more or they deserve what you have. They, they, they deserve happiness or, you know, maybe they just wish injustice upon you. But either way... You are looking very happy. You look you look successful. You are satisfied with where you are at, and this person's just coming along and trying to, you know, put you in a downer position. Like, don't let them crush your dreams. You know, keep pushing forward. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, this person's going to be sharp with their words. They're going to, you know, do whatever you know they gotta do. But don't let it bother you. You know, you're so successful. You're satisfied with where you are at. You know, don't let this person's negative energy really bother you, Cancer. All right? You know, ref so what you basically do is, you know, you send that negative energy back at them. Because you are, you know, obviously, obviously don't, like, tell, like, say, you know, reflect that negativity towards them but reflect it in a way where it's not going to hinder your success you know like so someone puts out negativity out there put out positivity you know give them positive vibes or you know there's this uh trick you could use you know you knock on a mirror three times and then you say uh send all the negativity to the sender and it will send all that negativity back towards whoever is sending you negativity uh, but at the same time it's it can be a little bit draining but you know that's just a little trick that you learn along the way of you know spirituality um, at least that's what I've learned um, on my path but yeah so let's see. Let's see what other cards you guys got. So you have the Emperor. You have the Eight of Swords. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah. Right now when it comes to love, it's not the most fortunate thing. But you're happy. You're happy sig signal. You're sing... Sig... Oh my god, I can't even say it. Sig... Single. 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 You're happy single. You're doing what's best for you. You're standing in your power. You're not listening to what this person has to say, but just be careful because you may be walking yourself into a trap or where there's just a lot of danger around you. You need to open up your eyes, 
understand that there's a bunch of danger around you and that you should get out of wherever you are at right now because it's not going to you know look good for you all right you need to take that blindfold off and start seeing everything around you very clearly because if you keep walking around you know as the eight of swords yeah you're happy you're you know going things blind you know you're happy you're you know ignorant ig ignorance is bliss um you know but it may lead you down an unfortunate path so just be careful that you know there is no mishaps happening so be careful look around you pay attention see the warning signs if you see something uh you know if you see a red flag or if you hear red flags pay attention because it's trying to the universe is trying to warn you that something bad is about to happen to you and it's going to try there whoever this person that is putting negativity out towards you they will get their karma eventually but right now they're just spewing all that negativity because they don't like it that you're happy they don't like it that you're satisfied with where you are at that you are so abundant that you are the king of pentacles they don't like that they don't like it that you have this entrepreneur energy towards you and they may feel like you know you have this power over them so they send all that negativity towards you so that way your business fails and you don't want that you don't want that negativity um going towards you so you know you just got to do what you got to do um let's see what you got for your ruins so during this time, it seems like it's, you're going to be very happy, but just pay attention to any warning signs that the universe may give you about this person or about the people around you. Because you don't want to keep walking yourself into danger, because then you're just then you're just going to be unsatisfied and unhappy, and you're not going to like where you're at. So keep moving forward. Keep raising your vibration. Keep doing what you gotta do. Don't let you know people start you know shit with you. Just you know start your own business. Do what you want to do. Have you have this entrepreneur energy about you that it's going to be very successful. And people don't like that. They don't like that you have your own mind. That you can see things. That you can envision things. And that you can start up something. And have it, you know, expand into something amazing. They don't like that. And you got to ignore them. But you also got got to, you know, pay attention to the dangers around you. Because you don't want to, you know, invest all your time into something. And then all of a sudden, it just blows up in your face. And then you're just like, well, what do I do now? Right? So pay attention. Look at everything around you. You know, be careful, all right? I know this isn't the lovey-dovey reading that, you know, that is a love reading, but this could mean, you know, that you have more important things to deal with, you know, than love, you know? You're, you gotta love yourself, you know? And if this is a partner that's spreading negativity around you or a family member, then they should be cut off. You should cut this person off. You, they shouldn't be in your life. I don't know why they're in your life if they're spewing all this negativity about you. Maybe they like drama. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But either way, Cancer, let's see what you got for the spirit of, for your spirit of the wheel meditation deck. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Your angels are very close to you. They're working with you and they are protecting you. And you are and this is the warrior um ruin, so you are very strong during this time and you can handle this situation when it, you know, when you see it, but it's going to take some time. And funny enough, I pulled the strength card, so you do you are very strong. People will be trying to offer their assistance to you. Uh, now is a great time for meditation and really be patient. You know, be patient with people. Try offering your assistance to other people. You know, if you see that someone is in need, you know, help them out. You know, 
and stuff like that. You have new beginnings, thought process, and inspiration. So you could you could be inspiring someone to start their own business or to, you know, be successful. But just be careful because you know you don't want someone to you know steal your ideas and you know and stuff like that. You just you want the new beginnings for yourself and you wish new beginnings for that other person but you also you know you got to go through the whole thought process right you got to ask yourself is it worth putting my time into this is it worth you know telling this person you know to leave me alone because at the end of the day you got to do what's best for you you got to yeah you, it's good to help people and all that but you also got to you know do what's best for you and understand that just because something's working out for you it doesn't mean that it's going to work out for someone else we are all different we are all different people right so what may work for you may not work for someone else and they may you know do try to do the same exact thing that you're doing and then it'll blow up in their face and they're just gonna be like well you told me this you told me that and then it, it nothing worked and but for you it works because that's you you know you gotta think well that works for me it's not going to work for everyone else because everyone thinks differently not everyone thinks the same they don't understand you know that thought process right so cancer that's going to be your love reading i know it wasn't much of a love reading but you must have needed to hear this message because it came out uh, for you. So, Cancer, I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description below. If you want to check out any of my other YouTube videos, you can go on my channel, scroll down, see what other videos that you want to check out. Or you can hit that you know, pop-up video and it will take you to another one of my videos that you may or may not resonate with. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.